Hello, this is Melissa, your insurance exam queen here, where we are on this channel to help you pass your exam with ease and confidence. In this video, we're going to cover a, um, talking about change of address or any updates with the commissioner. This is going to come out of the state law regulations chapter, common to all lines chapter, insurance regulation chapter, whatever they might title it as. Um, before we jump into that, I want to please ask that you subscribe to this channel. Certainly helps me out as a YouTube content creator. You can also like this video if this has helped you understand this information, and you can also check out more paid for and free resources available on insuranceexamqueen.com, including a free Facebook study group where you can find peer support and help. So <clears throat> change of address. So the insurance commissioner director, he may be called, please go watch that video if you don't know what I'm talking about, but we do have a video on the who the, who the commissioner and the director is. His job, his primary purpose is to protect the public, to keep people safe. And um, he's keeping the public safe from insurance agents. He's keeping the public safe from insurance companies. And so th what this means is he needs to be able to keep tabs on you. So he needs to know um, who you are and what you're doing and where you're going so that he can monitor um, any insurance transactions that, that you are doing. So the most common questions here we get are um, your change of address. This, this could be an address of, you know, I'm moving across town. This could be I'm switching from apartment A to apartment B. But if you change your address, you change your phone number, you change your email, these are things that the commissioner needs to know that have been updated. In most every state that I have seen, but again, you should always check your state-specific text because that's another test question. Who operates insurance? Um, and it's a state thing. So um, every state gets to pick their own insurance laws. But in, in every state that I have ever taught in, it's 30 days notice. So 30 days notice to the commissioner when you update your address, you change your email, you change your phone number, you need to let them know within 30 days of doing that. Um, and if not, then you can be fined and feed and, and all the things. Um, uh, I don't know if I've ever seen lose your license, but um, <laughs> maybe. But definitely, definitely you want to keep your information updated with the commissioner and you generally have 30 days to do that. And um, this is, again is coming from the state law chapter. So this is Melissa, your insurance exam queen. I am sending you all the loves, all the vibes to pass your exam. Have an amazing day.